Well, hey everybody, Dogbert here with some very early rogue testing in Arena. This is all done on Catbird. Uh, to give you an idea, the team you're seeing here is a level 86 Morgan, uh, still gear 15, level 80 uh, Omega Red, still gear 15. Uh, the Eternals are both level 85 and still gear 15. It's only like a 5-5 five five on both of them. And of course, Rogue is 3 star. She's gear 15, level 85. Like I said, this is very early testing. These are a few fights that I've already done. Just to give you an idea, I've also had some fights that didn't go so well. It's just as I was learning Rogue's kit. So this is a, a full dark hole. This is a punch down. Smaller team here. They always go after Agatha. We need to slow on her to slow her down. Uh, so one thing I learned with uh, Rogue here, you will, you want to use that special. Put it on Agatha because it actually does knock back her turn meter. Don't go after Morgan. Uh, Rogue's focus is nowhere near high enough to be going after Morgan and landing it, at least right now. We'll have to see how she does with uh, higher stars, higher red stars, uh, once we get to that. So because we have Omega right here, because they have the ability to block this Morgan, this is a punch down. These are all like level 80 characters. It was a good first test, though, just to see that, yes, we could take down uh, a Darkhold with this team. No Emma here. You can see Agatha has just been sitting there. This is really nice here. We knock out all that barrier on Wong. That's one of the biggest problems with Wong. So he gets all that barrier because of Morgan giving them extra barrier and he has a big health pool on top of it. So we get right through Wong. Uh, now it's just a matter of who they want to go after. And I went after, uh, you know, this is a small Doctor Strange, already level 75. But it's still full dark old. You see, we cleaned it up nice. And that does it for this one. Let's move on to another. Just skipping past these loading screens and trying to. Unless I'm fighting with a cat again as I make this video. So this is a little bit bigger dark hole. We actually got some level 85s here. Again, we're going after Agatha. Again, we want to use that special on Agatha. My goal is actually to go after Strange Heartless. Uh, Agatha we've knocked down because she got that trauma from Rogue. She still has those debuffs on her. So she can't heal, which is nice. Because she's next to Morgan, Omega Red was able to kill her. So now we had a choice. Now we get to stun somebody with Rogue. We went after Strange Heartless. We don't want him going off and killing us. Winding turn meter. This is just nice again. We have all that barrier gone on, on Wong. Just opening it up the door for Icarus here. Couldn't stun him. He has immunity, so this went off with uh, that. So I just went and used this at this point. I know I'm going to kill Wong with my Omega Red. He's dead. Goodbye, Doctor Strange Heartless. This match is over, pretty much, even though we still have Scarlet Witch and Morgan. That was a Gear 16 Morgan, don't forget. Goodbye, Scarlet Witch. So I got one more battle. I was able to figure out another team. It went pretty bad when I used that same team against this team. So we're going to be going against the Loki Eternals uh, Emma Morgan variant. This team is Shang-Chi, Emma, Kestrel, Rogue, and Morgan. The reason why I'm doing this setup is in taking away the Eternals in this case is that by taking away all these Mystics, we have just enough so that our Morgan will go first. Uh, 
and that's the big deal. I have to I have to check my math on that. Uh, that might have been a coin flip. Uh, it's late though, so we're gonna do this. Uh, you can see I'm using the special on Icarus there. Uh, the reason being is that I wanted to try to get all the debuffs on him, but I at least got the trauma on him. I'm gonna clear out Loki with Icarus. Uh, ah, Kestrel there. Now back to Icarus. We're gonna get rid of that defense down. Uh, Rogue just has very bad focus, so that's why we didn't get all those debuffs. He didn't lose those debuffs. Now we actually have a chance for Rogue to stun him. We do land that. Because with defense down, don't forget he has less resistance. Goodbye, Icarus. And we're pretty much at the point where we have beaten this, this team. Like I said, this is very early testing. Can't say for sure how well this will work on, on a constant basis. But just wanted to get this stuff out here so you can see what I'm up to, what's going through my head, and what might be possible with Rogue now. And I still have to test against, of course, Dormammu's. Uh, unfortunately, Dogwurst at the top of the arena, so he can't fight anybody right now. Maybe another day. But until next time, everybody, hope this helps out.